I have a sense that the preacher gets the best of every sermon, that the, the preacher, the first hearer of any sermon is the preacher, him or herself, um, that most of us, if you pull our sermons out for the last 10 years and look at them, we've been preaching the piece of the gospel that caught us, and we preach it over and over again. So I, it's perhaps unkind, but I think true to say that liturgists, preachers, we get the best of the worship service because we put it together, we've got the best seats, and we get to look at all those faces, and they only get to see ours. So I'm very aware what a place of privilege it is to be the preacher. When I'm a listener, it's a whole different game. Uh, what is most important to me is that a preacher do no harm. It's, it's a vulnerable thing to me to be in worship. I, I have to trust the people in charge of that time in a huge way if I'm going to open myself to God in any way. And it means the human beings who are facilitating that have a huge responsibility to go easy on me. Don't abuse me. Don't, don't tromp on me. Don't proselytize me. Don't um, I, what are all the, uh, don't lobby me, you know, don't, because that's not the time for that. So the main thing that I love about a preacher is one who does no harm, who occupies his or her space with some awareness of how vulnerable I am.